going on familia welcome back to the organized millennial i am anna and today i am back sharing another memory plan with me with you guys today i am using this midnight kisses new year's eve kit um, and i'm showing you the cute little once more with love countdown that i'm incorporating into this spread i'm so excited to get into it i am planning for of course new year's week so i'm planning from december 28th to january 3rd and i'm super excited y'all because i am going to share part two of my goals with you so if you guys missed my last plan with me which was for christmas week that is where i shared my 2021 financial goals i'll go ahead and link those up in a card for you guys so you guys can check it out after this video so I don't think I mentioned, but this kit is from Caress Press. And this is also the first time that I'm using my 2021 Recollections Vertical Planner. So you guys, to tell you that I struggled with stickers during this plan with me would be actually an understatement because I struggled so much. Just with, you know, adjusting to a new format and spacing and getting the stickers on right. And so these are gonna be some growing pains as I do my first few spreads in this planner. Um, but I do think I'm gonna stick to the Recollections Planner as my memory planner. For those of you who don't know, I was debating between this planner and the 2021 Gooseby Twins planner for my memory planner. I think this is just more conducive to more sticker kits, so it makes sense for me to use this as my memory planner. So I'm probably going to be using my Gooseby Twins planner as more of a functional planner. Um, I'll still probably have some stickers in there, but it might be more used in a functional way instead of in this kind of decorative way that I use this one. So. I'm not entirely sure what I'll be using using it for. I'm thinking content planning um, in regards to YouTube videos and social media and things like that. So, so I'm excited to get into that. Although I did have a planner sent to me, which I will be reviewing. The, um, the shop owners were very sweet and reached out to me about sending me a planner. I'm not going to reveal who did. But I will be sharing the planner um, here on YouTube. I'm going to do a full review of it. I'll probably do a mock spread so you guys have an idea of what that looks like. So be on the lookout for that. Who knows? I might have to switch my choice again because, you know, people are generous. I can't really complain about that. So, <laughs> um, But be on the lookout for that. Make sure you're subscribed for that one. So... Let's go ahead and start to talk about goals. So in today's video, I'm gonna be chatting with you guys about my 2021 personal goals and also my YouTube kind of slash social media goals for the year. And just really quick, because as I mentioned, I struggled through this spread quite a bit. Um, there will be some kind of jumpiness because I didn't want to bring you guys through the whole hot mess express that was me putting down the base um, and even the boxes. Jesus Christ, it was definitely a struggle bus. So you might see some jumpiness through this first part till we get through, get to the day by day, I should say. So Anyways, let's get into these goals. So I'm going to start with my YouTube slash social media goals, and then we'll transition into my personal goals. And I'm hoping to fit both of these into this video. So let's get started. So my first YouTube slash social media goal is, of course, to reach 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. It's kind of a very... Um, I would say a pretty big milestone for content creators. It's kind of the first time um, not only that you kind of feel like, okay, this is working for me. I'm like doing things out here in the big world, but it's also when you, one of the requirements to be eligible to be monetized on YouTube as well. So definitely hoping to reach a thousand subscribers this year. And I think I can do it, of course, with the help of all of you. And I thank you so much for the support and the kindness. Some of you, you know, go back and watch videos that you missed like oh my god the dedication and the commitment that you guys show me is like it's really really incredible like I cannot thank you enough seriously um, my heart is always warmed by that um, and by any comment or, or kind thing that anyone says about any of my videos um, all of that is so so appreciated appreciated um, and then kind of going hand in hand with that first goal, uh, my second goal is to be accepted into the YouTube Partner Program. So for those of you who aren't 
familiar with the YouTube kind of world, let me break it down for you. You can get monetized on YouTube, meaning that YouTube will pay play ads during your video um, and will pay you for those ads that are played during your video, depending on a variety of things. In order to do that, there are two requirements you need to fulfill. So one is that you need to have a thousand subscribers and you need to have 4,000 watch hours, I think in the last year or something, the last 365 days or something like that, or 12 months, I think. Um, and then you can apply to the YouTube Partner Program. They need to review your channel and then hopefully accept you. Um, of course, there is the possibility that you apply and do not get accepted, but I think that's usually if they find, you know, that your channel is inappropriate in some way or something like that. Um, I don't know that for sure, but that's been my experience with what I've seen. So the goal is to hopefully reach 1K, get the watch hours, and also be accepted into the YouTube Partner Program. Now, going right along with that, because I don't want you guys to be like, oh, you're just here for the numbers, girl. I am not. Yes, the numbers are important, um, especially when you want to measure a goal, right? You're trying to make a measurable goal. Um, so they are important, but they are definitely not the end all be all. Um, as much as I want to grow my channel, I also want to grow and engage with the community. So the budgeting community, the planning community, I've tried to be a little more active on my Instagram. You guys listen. <laughs> so I'm on Instagram for those of, you, those of you who don't know at the org millennial, I'll put it in the description box for you guys. So you can go and follow me there for my shenanigans and wildness and budgeting planning content, of course, <laughs> but. But I got to be real with you. Of course, I have my own personal Instagram that I had before doing this YouTube channel and starting this YouTube channel. You guys, I never do anything with that account. And now that I have this org millennial Instagram account, I literally am never on my personal <laughs> Instagram account, like ever. Like people are like, was the last time I remember someone followed me maybe a couple weeks ago or something, and they were like, was, was the last time you posted like six months ago? And I'm like, yeah, that's probably accurate, actually, <laughs> because I, I'm just not on there at all. But of course, I really want to try to, again, engage with you guys and interact with you, guy, with you guys over on Instagram. So I am trying to be more active over there. Of course, I always want to engage with the YouTube community. I think I do that pretty well now. Um, I try to, you know, keep up with the comments that you guys leave. And I also try to, to support other content creators on the platform as much as I can. It does get hard. It's, you know, you girls over here working full time, running this, this here YouTube channel, <laughs> trying to live life and all my other responsibilities. So it does get hard sometimes to keep up with everyone, but know that I try to support you in other ways. If it's not watching your content, it'll be maybe sharing your content on Instagram, um, or maybe I didn't necessarily comment, but I still watched um, just because I ran into something else that I needed to do. So know that the love is there and the support is there for all of my fellow content creators. And I'm gonna try my best to continue to support you in, in different ways. So, Growing on YouTube um, and growing the community and interacting with the community more, definitely. Another, um, this is more of a numbers goal again, but for Instagram, I'd also like to hit 1K followers now. That might be more of a stretch. I think I'm at like 200 and something followers right now. Um, but I feel like Instagram growth is a lot quicker than like YouTube growth. So I decided to set that goal for myself. I don't know if it'll really happen. That's, I feel like this is one of my more stretch goals where I'm like, it would be nice, but if it doesn't, I'm not gonna be super disappointed in life, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, but that's one of my stretch goals. And then kind of just tying into, again, growing on YouTube and growing my, my social media following and things like that, I want to make sure that I'm also improving my content, right? Because I can't be over here saying, follow me, follow me, like me, comment, <laughs> and then give you guys trash content. Like, that's not okay. Not that my content is trash right now. I'm just saying um, I always want to be trying to find ways to improve my content. So I'm hoping with... 
if you guys caught my financial goals, there's a strong possibility that I'll be moving this year. So I'm hoping that once I move, I can kind of have a more dedicated office space. Um, hope again, depends on where I move, which is, which is also, um, proving to be challenging, but that's a whole nother conversation. Um, I hope to have more of a dedicated office space. I hope to be able to improve my lighting, improve sound for you guys and really bring you quality content. Cause I think that, you know, that's an expectation too, as you grow, uh, not just from you guys, but also for myself, you know, if I'm, if I'm growing on the platform that I need to, and I'm committing to, to doing this, then I need to be able to invest in myself, which was another <laughs> goal for my financial goals video, um, that you guys can check out if you haven't already. So yeah, so I think that covers all of my, oh, there was one more. YouTube social media goal that I had and it was this one's kind of a stretch goal I'm not sure if I want to or not so I've been thinking about joining a PR team um, for those of you who don't know a lot of sticker shops will have PR teams which basically are a group sometimes one or two or a group of individuals that are in the planning community that can promote basically their stickers so promote their sales promote their shop etc cetera, etc cetera. so I've thought about doing it but I really you know I really want to be intentional about who I PR for um and what I do with that role I never want my content to become <sighs> like too salesy if that makes sense and of course you're if you're doing PR for someone it's going to be salesy so I get that I'll be posting about sales and things like that but I don't want that to be the only thing you find on my feed I want to make sure that I'm still incorporating fun content still talking about budgeting and planning but also still sharing aspects um, especially on over on Instagram which is where most of the promo will be happening um, also sharing some aspects of my life of what I'm like, of my personality. I just, I, I want to use Instagram um, aside from showing you that a video is posted or aside from if I join a PR team that stickers are on sale, I really wanted to also be um, kind of a way for you to see a little bit more of who I am um, and what I like and what I don't like. And I do tend to share that on Instagram. Um, so I'm sure you guys have gotten a taste if you're following me over there of of my character and my personality and things like that. So, um, but yeah, so that's kind of a stretch goal. I'd like to join a PR team, but I don't just want to join one to join one. I want to make sure I'm joining one for a sticker shop that I really love, whose products I really love, who um, I feel comfortable like putting my name out there for, if that makes sense. So yeah. I hope that made sense. So those are my YouTube and social media goals. If you guys are content creators or you have social media goals or you're pursuing a new venture, let me know down below about those goals. Those things always excite me, what other people have going on or what they'd like to do. So let me know down below. Um, what your goals are, YouTube, social media related, or just maybe a new venture that you're taking on that you're really excited about. Let me know down below in the comments. All right, you guys. Now, I'm going to get into my personal goals. We are kind of reaching the end. I don't have a ton of personal goals. Most of my goals were financial and YouTube based. So let's, let's just dive into these personal goals for 2021. So... All right. Um, I do apologize if you guys heard, can hear my boyfriend in moments in the background. He's being loud occasionally. Um, and that is the struggle of doing a voiceover. <laughs> okay. So personal goal number one is actually to lose weight. So because I'm trying to practice that those smart goals, want to make your goals um, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-based, I want to lose 20 to 30 pounds by July 30th. And for those of you who don't know, July 30th is actually my birthday. So I want to be a lighter version of myself on my birthday. Um, and there's various reasons because of that. So because we're getting into the personal goals, we're going to get into more personal things. So I've always struggled with my weight, friends. Um, it has been a struggle since probably I was like 10 years old. 
Um, and there's always been pressures, not just from society, but from family members about weight and about losing weight and about this, that, and the third. And there was a point in my life where I started to get really serious about it. I lost, I think, probably about 40 or 45 pounds. Um, and I felt the best I ever felt. So I'm here now again, having definitely gained back those 40, 40, 40 to 45 pounds, and I'm sure more, um, <laughs> definitely more, um, especially with, with quarantine and working from home, like your girl is going nowhere and moving very little. Um, so I want to get back to that place because I was happy. So I want to really do it for myself. I don't want to do it for someone else. I don't want to do it for society norms. I really want to do it for myself. Um, I felt so good during that time in my life and I need to feel that again. So that is my first goal. It's quite a hefty goal because like I said, it's something I've struggled with my whole life, but we're in 2021, we're embracing new things, we're changing up some things and we're going to make it happen. So to make that happen, I'm hoping to start meal prepping a bit more and I'm also obviously hoping to exercise more. Um, I think by the sheer fact that I've been able to reduce some of my Uber Eats, Uber Eats madness will contribute to that goal quite a bit. So of course, I'll keep you guys updated throughout the year on where I'm at with that. But that is goal number one for my personal goals. Um, goal number two, which is related to investing in myself, which I mentioned in my financial goals video is that I want to take a class in human resources. Um, I just wanna take one class, I'm not ready to do a whole program or a whole degree, just to get a feel for it. It's been a field that I've always been interested in and it would be really cool, even if nothing comes of it, to just learn a little bit more about the field. So that is one of my personal goals, kind of financial goals, but because it's not really, um, not really per se, <laughs> me, well, it's me spending money, but it's not really, I don't know. I, I It just felt like more of a, an investment in myself, although financially also like an investment in just me and what I like. So I don't know if that makes sense, but <laughs> I decided to include that one. Um, my third personal goal is to see my friends this year in a safe way. Um, and these are like my best friends um, that I haven't seen. I think two of them I haven't seen in over a year with... Yeah, with Corona and everything else. So definitely, definitely. <laughs> I have three very, very close best friends that I consider family. And I've been able to see one of them in the last year. But even him, I haven't seen in about six months. And the other two friends, it's been over a year. So my goal this year is to see them in some way, shape, or form as safely as possible. And I'm not sure how that will work, but I'm working on it. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for my 2021 personal goals. They really were more centered around self-care. I've gotten to the point in my life where I am proud of who I am and I know who I am. So really now it's taking care of that person a little bit more um, um, in 2021. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as it really does help support the channel. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I did enjoy how this spread came out. Let me know down below in the comments about your goals for 2021, personal, again, content creators, social media, new ventures, whatever those may be. I will have a link up in the cards for my financial goals video so you can check that out. And I'll see you guys real, real soon.